the book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 6, be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counselor of a thousand. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, salutation to the Agni that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video be edifying, first and foremost, to the whole for elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And uh, I just want to get into a quick lesson before camp. Pretty much going into the surety of striking hands. Now, I know I started off with that precept, you know, before a man would get it a friend, uh, or credit a man, you know, prove him first, right? Because you know, they got the scripture that say, you know, sometimes we be light-minded, all right? And when you get a friend, more or less, uh, more or less or none, it's going to come down to, you know, this, I'm going to read this one. This is Rock 19 and 4. He that is hasty to give credit is light-minded, okay? He that is hasty to give credit is light is light-minded. So, you know, everything is proven with us as men of the Lord, you know, even those we strike hands with. And that's the, the theme of the lesson is, uh, well, the lesson overall is the surety of striking hands, all right? Because there comes a debt with striking hands, which I'm going to go into a few precepts showing that, all right? And I won't be long on it. I just wanted to get into this, okay? So those people that we do make those, uh, circumstantial obligations to him because every relationship is circumstantial whether jake said or not i want to say it you don't get in any relationship where there's nothing to offer in it okay it's it's almost useless to even do that and people be like well you serving the lord with no strings attached well we do all right because even when the lord created us there was a string attached from the lord according to us through his will that he, we was going to do all right. Regardless if we wanted to do it or not, you know, nevertheless, uh, as the Lord created us, there was a debt with creation. And what I mean by that, the creation had to pay the debt that was owed to the creator. All right. And as his son and as us being friends to his son, that's a debt owed unto his son because his son paid his debt for dying owed it to us in the will that the Lord has set forth for him. So, you know. As having a surety of striking hands, we got to know who we're making deals with, all right? Because we have to pay that oath. That's an oath or a deal that we have to pay back, man. And that's what the lesson is ultimately about. But those who we strike hands with, we got to know who we striking hands with. You see? All right? We got to know. So we can't be like-minded considering the situation. I'm going to go back to that, right? Because even dealing with friends, Yahweh Shai is our friend. We have struck hands with him. Okay, whether we want to or not, as an Israelite, you we forever indebted to Yahweh Shai for him uh, making that uh, that covenant. And what I how a man mostly um, come upon an agreement, he what shake hands, man. All right, now in the ancient time, you signed your signature, all right, which is, your signature is a mark. Let me let me get that. Matter of fact, it's a mark for a grin, you see. Let me, let me see if I could get something good in it. All right. You know, it's, it's a document, okay, or a seal, right? A mark with a stamp. So the stamp shows your agreements on what you have shook hands for. Many in business meetings, you look around across the world, you know, they're going to either salute it out or give salutations by way of a hug, a contract, or what? They shake hands. Most of the time when the deal get made is you strike hand. Like, okay, I'm going to hold my end of the deal. Okay, we have made peace treaties with the Lord. We almost we also made peace treaties with our brothers. All right, we have struck deals with our brothers. Okay? It says a signature. Do they have anything else? A distinguishing mark. All right? So, this is a... Hebrews 7 and 22, right? 
And Jay got to know what what's what's the end of his bargain on a deal because Yahweh Shah stood stood tall on his end. All right, and we as men of the law have to also do the same. This Hebrew seven. In 22, it says, by so much was Yahweh Shai made a surety of a better testament. You see, he was made a surety of a better testament. And now, right, that which which was to come, as we're also holding our end of the bargain to make sure this too. Now, because we're walking with Yahweh Shai. This is Amos 3. Jump around a little bit. Okay, bear with me, brothers. Just showing the surety of our agreements. This Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed, right? Uh, Proverbs 18 and 24, which is one of my favorite. He that had it friends must show itself friendly, which means the man you have struck hands with, okay? Yahweh Shah also, he called us uh, uh, friends, not servants, all right? Because we struck hands. Now, let me get into the the striking of the hands, right? This is our uh, Proverbs. I'll start here real quick. Get this one first. Seventeen and eighteen. A man void of understanding, striking hands and become sure to in the presence of his friend. Now, when you <clears throat> And the NLT says it's poor judgment to guarantee another person's debt or put up the security for a friend. Because when you when we uh do walk with our brothers and company in the house of the Lord, we got to work on our own salvation with fear and trembling. But we do it with our brother to basically strike hands with your brother and say, look, I'll hold, you, hold your debt or walk for you within the Lord. It's not so. All right. Now. You be void of understanding. Right. To put that shirt in the presence of your friend and strike hands with him and don't hold up his debt. Every man have his own debt. This is Proverbs 6 and, and 1. It says, my son, if thou be a surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken, stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Okay? Being that surety for your friend. It says, do this now, my son, and deliver thyself when thou art coming to the hand of thy friend. Go, humble thyself, and make sure of thy friend. All right? So, even as we making sure of the striking of our hands with our friends, we got to ultimately know what, what's the price to pay for it. All right? This is, uh, okay, Proverbs 18. Proverbs 22 and 26. It says, Be not thou one of them that strike hands or of them that are surety for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? So, again, if you're if you're in assurance with striking hands for the surety or that striking hand or to cover that debt, all right, don't, if, if you don't have what it takes to pay, all right, it's not best you strike hands. Last one at Proverbs. I know I'm jumping around. I didn't have it too much in order. I wanted to get it in order, but it's cool. All right. This is Proverbs 11 and 15. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to read that 14 because I read the start off in that Sirach, I believe, that have one council of a thousand of friends because that counselor is Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai. That's our. That's the surety of the striking hands. He's the, he's, he's, he's that what we have to, well, he's the debt in which we have to owe back. All right. We pay it back to Yahweh shot first through the spirit of Yahweh. And that's the way the Lord set it up. Proverbs 11 and 15. He, 14, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. There go that, that, that counsel. All right. Counsel of brothers of those men that are in like mind. All right. That's walking with Yahweh Shah, understanding their debt and what they struck hands for. It's because it, it's gonna say it in 15. He that is a surety for a stranger shall smart for it. And he that he hated suretyship is sure. Right? Now let's let's see. 
This in the NLT. There's danger in putting up security for a stranger's debt. It's safer not to guarantee another person's debt. There you go. Right? So we got to know when we're doing it, we got to know who we're doing it for. All right? This is Sarat means, but Salaki. Joel 17 and 3. It says, Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? See, that's a question mark, right? Who is he? It says, Lay down a pledge for me now. Who is there who will put up security for me? Okay? So, understanding the surety of striking hands, man, it, it could be real costly, all right? And as men of the law, we got to understand what we're making deals with, who we're promising, what covenants we're coming into with the Lord, man. All right. There's there's a greater understanding and level of, of uh, assurance when you shake hands with something or someone. And we have stood in a uh, we have made blood covenants. All right. It is a, a, a token or a sign of, of what striking hands. You see. Now, I know I'm using it. You know, in, a, in a, an analogy with shaking hands, but it goes much deeper than that when you look at it from a spiritual form. Okay, this is uh, some rock. Who, you know, like Job said, who else going to sponsor him, right? Because the Lord is really ultimately the one that I, that I have to see to it that we pay back the debt we owe. All right. And that's why when we strike hands, we make covenants with the Lord that we must pay, man. We got a pledge to pay, right? A pledge is a debt, a, a, a debt owed, okay? And we owe that debt ultimately, right? This is Sarat. This was just was, was a quick one before we do kind of do camp. I just wanted to get it out done. I start at 12. Lend not unto him that is mightier than thyself. For if thou lendest him, count it but loss. No, not, that's not the right one, Salaki. It's 13. It says, Be not surety above thy power. For if thou be surety, take care to pay. And that's what's, that's the reason why I kept this one for last. All right? Is because the surety uh, of striking hands is a debt. All right? And the reason why I let this video to make it, I mean, let this precept come last to make it become full circle. I'm going to read it again. <coughs> Be not sure to <coughs> above thy power, all right? Because <coughs> the law require, all right? The, the law, re, to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, what we have made a pet with, we, got, we must pay or put up for that, okay? For if thou be surety, take care of pet. All right. Take care to pay it for if thou be surety. So, you know, if you want, you know, strike hands and be of a surety or that pledge which we have given unto the Lord that we will, we ought to do. Okay. Let's make sure we pay it. Okay. So that's the understanding of the surety of striking hands. So I'm about to It was that a fine match. Next time we'll see Shalom.